What is up, fam? This is your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful day. And thank y'all for joining me again for another uh, reading here, okay? Thank y'all for your continued love and support. I uh, really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get on with the message. It's kind of late here, so I'm not going to do no drumming and stuff like that, okay? But you know what? I probably can if I just do it lightly. I don't want to be going crazy. Let's go ahead and clear the energy out softly. Softly. Right, you guys um, I got us started with some energies here let's give get our message out first opening message it says say thank you to others as often as you can say thank you to life say thank you to yourself gratitude allows you to trust life and trust is the foundation for dreams to come true trust is the foundation gratitude allows you to trust life and trust is a foundation for our dreams to come true. So um, be in a state of gratitude right now. That's going to help you uh, usher in your new dreams coming true. And also, when you have things that are, that are good things that come to you, also make sure to, to, to keep that spirit of gratitude. You know what I'm saying? Um, be thankful for uh, receiving the things that you're about to receive or you are receiving, Okay. On the, I use the Panta Oracle. Um, I'm starting off with the Panta Oracle, okay? On the bottom of the deck, we have Aid, okay? Number 17, Aid. So this is, uh, we're receiving some sort of help during this time. Something good is about to take place. I'm, uh, I'm getting uh, the vibes of your prayers have been answered or prayer has been answered or your call for help. I'm hearing that song. Uh, All that I need is a cry for help. Yes, yeah, like if you've been praying, if you cried out, you know, to God for help, to Universal Spirit Team for help, uh, you're getting uh, you're getting some sort of assistance. OK. Uh, some sort of kindness is going to be bestowed upon you, all right? Something that you've asked for, some that you've uh, asked for assistance with, that you asked for clarity on, you're about to receive some sort of help from it, okay? This could be this is divine intervention. It could, they could make it come through another person, okay? Or things just line up for you, an opportunity could just line up for you, okay? This is, we have good news, okay? 42, good news is about to come through for you guys, or it's coming through for you guys. This good news that you have is may show up as a surprise. It could be a message, could be an email, could be a text message, could be somebody sharing something with you. But expect some sort of good news to come through. When you get this good news, it's going to come, If it's, it's going to be, it's going to hit you like it's a miracle, right? It's going to be a surprise. It's going to be like a miracle. And it's going to actually get, give you some encouragement, right? Especially if you're going through something right now. This news that's coming down the pipeline for you is going to be news that's going to bring you some sort of positive encouragement. Spirit is wanting you to be ready to go, okay? Comment down below if you are ready to go, you feel me? Spirit wants you to be ready to go to prepare yourself. So whatever it is you, that you're asking for or that you're praying for or that you're trying to manifest or that you're trying to put your intentions out for... Whatever you planning for, prepare for, okay? So once that opportunity comes in, you can hit the ground running, right? It's like you you getting ready. You see how this guy is like ready. You know, he's ready to he's he's like he's getting ready to run a race or getting ready to start running and he's waiting for that, you know, 
for the for the go sound to happen, you know what I'm saying, or for the, to him to get that 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 call that says go, and jumping on the opportunity. There's number 44 as well on this card, but there's some sort of opportunity that's coming up for you, something that's being arranged behind the scenes. Okay, that spirit is telling y'all y'all need to be ready for. It. You've been asking for this. It's something that you've been. It's something that you've been asking for. Some of y'all been asking for it for a long time. So whatever it is that you've been asking for, is coming through. But Spirit wants you to be ready, wants you to not get get caught off guard, okay? Don't get caught off guard and uh, uh and, and not be ready when it's when it's happening for you, when that opportunity presents itself or you, you know, when that when you get that knock, 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 you better get ready to be ready to answer that door. You feel me? We got gain number 25. Yeah, this is something. Something is coming to a conclusion. This is you see how he's uh, in front of you know in front of a tree, and then there's a fruit that's being bared from the tree. That's this is saying that what you what you've invested, the seeds that you have planted, are ready to bloom. They're ready to sprout. They're ready to give forth fruit. Okay, that is a fruit of your labor. Whatever you've been working for, it's ready to to come to fruition. It is ready to come to a positive conclusion for you to where, okay, now uh, all my hard work is paying off. So now I'm actually seeing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I, I, whatever it is that I've been focusing on or, or working towards is actually happening now, right? Okay. <clears throat> um, before I do this next card, I pulled a card from the uh, power. Let me see. This is a Archangel Power Tarot card, all right? The card that I pulled from this deck was number one, the magician, Archangel Raziel. This card says you can manifest the life that you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginning. So you, we are embarking on a successful beginning in some area of your life. You feel me? Um, whatever you've been focusing on, whatever seeds you have been planting, that's the area. That's how you know what area is getting ready to, to pop off for you. It's whatever you've been putting the work in towards, right? Whatever you've been focusing on, whatever seeds that you've been planting and you've been uh, tending to those seeds, you've been nurturing those seeds, you've been sending out positive vibrations, you've been speaking positivity over those things that you've been planting, that is what you, you're going to... Uh, Receive like miracles in that area, uh, in that area, or what what may seem like miracles, or what could seem like miracles. You know what I'm saying? Depending on your uh, viewpoint, okay. Uh, but this signifies successful new beginnings for you as well, okay. Now, oh, and I pulled another card. What deck is this? This is the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Now, from the Angel Wisdom Tarot, I pulled. Whoop, Right. Okay. The world card, right? So this is some sort of conclusion. Again, we got the conclusion energy. Like something is coming. You know, it says brilliant success. This says the magician says successful beginnings. And then here we have good news coming, help is coming through, and a brilliant success. This is a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want. Be proud of yourself. Because you did this, you feel me? Your work, your dedication, your perseverance is what's making this happen. You know what I'm saying? It just didn't like, you know what I'm saying, just happen out of nowhere. It's the work that you put into it. It's the it's the uh, the seriousness you show to whatever it is, you know, that you wanted to 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 bring to fruition. It is uh, the perseverance that you show, right? It is uh unwavering devotion that you show to whatever this is that you wanted to manifest. It is the uh, the faith that you put into it, right? That you knew it was going to happen. You know, the love that you put onto it, right? The how how you nurtured this dream. That's what's bringing it or making it, uh, giving you an opportunity now to make it a success for yourself, right? And then we also have uh, seven of wands, which says stand up for yourself and your beliefs. Have confidence. Challenge those in power, but also choose your battles wisely. So you guys may have been, that may have been what is uh, helping you bring these things into uh, this dream or this help or whatever it is you're getting this, this success. That may be partially what's helping you bring this success into fruition. 
okay, is you standing up for your dreams, what you want to manifest, right? Because some of you guys may have been uh, uh, aiming for things that other people may have been telling you, oh, you stupid. Oh, um, don't waste your time on that. You're just dreaming. That will never happen for you. Uh, you know, you have to be very, very lucky and you're not lucky like that. Whatever they've been telling you, but naysayers, I'm feeling that somebody here has had naysayers that were telling you that, no, you're not going to be able to accomplish what you set out to accomplish, but you're about to prove them wrong. You stood that because you stood up for your dream, because you stood up for this, because you said, no, this is for me. You feel me? It's been put in my heart. You feel me? It's I have a, a, a different connection with this thing that I'm trying to manifest. Right. Uh, some of you guys, it could be. You're getting ready to graduate or you're getting ready to get into school for something or you're embarking upon a you a, a new path for yourself. You're moving somewhere or uh, it could be a number of different things. You know what I'm saying? It could be a long list of different things. But let me tell you something. On the flip side, we also have Marionette here, which is number uh, 15. This talks about dictatorship, domination and reluctance. Be careful, OK, of, of, of other people trying to uh take advantage of the situation now that you have achieved something okay i feel that this energy of people somebody okay being around you who uh may want to get in on this success when may want to ride the coattails of your success uh of your hard work right you were the one that did this and i feel like for a lot of us we didn't have any assistance. We didn't have any help, right? The only help that we did have with this aid that I'm getting, this is divine, divine help, like from our spirit team, right? Yeah, some of us from also from our soul tribe, right? And these are people who may not uh, necessarily be in our immediate circle or around us, right? The people who are within our immediate circle may not have, may not have believed in this dream. That we have that's about to come true or that is coming true right now as i like to say it you know like as it's happening currently a lot of people that surround us doubted us or told us that we were having some sort of pipe dreams uh told us that we were wasting our time told us that it was it, it's just a figment of our imagination or that we need to focus on something that's more realistic they some of us, some of them may have told us that whatever we're aiming for was out of the realm of our possibilities, right? Which nobody else can tell you what's out of the realm of your possibilities because they don't govern your life. They're not your God. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't control you in that kind of way. But I feel like we got somebody, okay? Or even some people. I'm getting, I'm getting for some of us, it's going to be multiple, multiple people who... When this success comes true for you, all right, when it's solidified, when it's all said and done, there's going to be people who did not care about what you were doing, who didn't, I'm hearing, didn't even give a damn if you thought whatever was important to you and you wanted and you needed some sort of help or guidance or just some positive encouragement and motivation. They were goals, nowhere to be found. You know, you can ask them for nothing. And even when they found out about it, that what you were working on or what you were doing, what your dreams, what your goals were, they were silent. You got crickets. They didn't care. They didn't want to help you because they didn't believe in your dream. They didn't believe in the vision of what you were trying to create. But, oh, now, after what you've been trying to create is coming to fruition and you're actually living that right now, you know, and that is actually your reality, then you're going to have people coming out. People coming out, the same people who didn't believe in you when you was in the, when you was in the, in the trenches, you know, uh, trying to make this dream a reality. Those same people who said you was crazy for going after whatever you were going after or having this dream that you had, the same people who turned their nose up at you, the same people who turned a blind eye when you were struggling, trying to make this work for you, or trying to get your feet on, I'm hearing, keep your feet on solid ground, right? When you, when you needed some encouragement, crickets. When you were having your bad days to where you were like, yo, I want to give up, I want to give up, 
crickets. Nobody encouraging you. Nobody telling you to keep on. Keep on moving. That's what I heard. Keep on moving. Don't stop. No. That's spirit telling you to keep on moving. Don't stop. No. That's God telling you to keep on moving. Don't stop. That was your main source of motivation. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you uh, believe in, that was your main source of motivation. I'm hearing you didn't get that much motivation in the spirit. I mean, in, 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 the, in, in the physical. You know what I'm saying? But you got most of your inspiration in the spirit. You feel me? In the spiritual realms. That's where a lot of it came from. That's why it's like it perplexed, it perplexed me how some people, how they can um, purposely turn a blind eye to helping you, being of assistance, being or just even if they like, like nobody's telling like I feel like you weren't asking people for money. You were just like, you know, um, stand by me. Oh, darling, won't you stand? That's what I just heard. It's like stand by me. But nobody would stand by you. With this, what you were trying to do, right? Because they didn't believe in you. And my whole thing is like, if you don't believe in the dream, why should you eat off the profits of that dream that you did not believe in? You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense because right now, it's not making sense to have a person who didn't believe in your dream, believe in your vision, want to benefit off of it now that it's taking off. Mm -mm. And look, I pulled some cards from, I got to start with some cards from the the uh, uh, fortune teller deck. <clears throat> okay, so the card that I got was friends. It talks about friends. It says a friend has bad intentions towards you. <sighs> we see that with this marionette. Now, now that you are uh, um, being successful in whatever it is that you've been trying to work on, right? Whatever project you've been working on. Now that you're successful, you got somebody who wants to come in and control it. I'm hearing for some of y'all, somebody wants to come in and control the bag. Who wants to tell you how to operate your business. Who wants to tell you what to do now. Or oh, before they were had, before they were turning a blind eye and they didn't they didn't care about what you had going on. But now that you've you've done all the hard work, right? I'm hearing you've created a solid foundation for yourself and to, to even build even more off of. Now they want to come in and dictate and tell you what to do with uh, the business, whatever you're running, whatever you're doing, whatever goal you whatever goal you set. They want to come in and dictate it and tell you what to do. But this person has bad intentions because they're trying to take control of it. For some of you guys, this is somebody, if you have a business, if you're doing a side hustle, this is somebody who is trying to come in now that you've proven your business model to be successful or whatever it is that you're doing. Hell, you could be uh, having have a side hustle selling your products or something or offering services or even you can be a social media influencer. You feel me? It, the list goes on and on. Now that you've proven that your business model is able to create or generate success and, and money or whatever it is that you were aiming for, okay, uh, recognition or whatever, whatever it is that you wanted from the situation, whatever you had your mindset on. Now that you've proven, you're proven your model to be a success, there's somebody and this who's quote unquote a friend okay who may be coming in trying to take it from you trying to come in okay trying to come in like they you see how these people are like it's giving me like a business handshake it says connection an old connection is coming back into your life platonic or romantic so this is somebody coming in it's kind of like they're looking at oh yeah now let's let's be business business partners now yeah or let's work together now right even if it's like somebody who you were, uh, who you wanted to date, or who you were dating, who left you, who didn't believe in you, right? But now they see you shining, they see you being successful. Now, oh, now you, they see you a diamond now, right? But when they, but when they looked at you like you were, you were nothing special before, right? But now they want to come in and benefit off of your hard work. Be very, very careful of people from the past, especially, specifically people who have left you. I'm hearing for some of y'all, this person may have left you for dead, you feel me? They didn't care nothing about you. 
They didn't care nothing about if you were eating or uh, if you needed some sort of it. They didn't care. So why should you even give them any consideration um, now that you 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 are moving into this uh, stable energy? You're moving into this successful energy. You're moving into this accomplishment and um, uh, moving forward in your life, especially with something that you've been working on. Getting this good news, getting a positive gain, your fruits of your, you know, your hard work paying off for you. Why should you give them a front seat in your, you know, in, in, in your train riding forward on your car? You feel me? No. You weren't there before, so what? There's no room for you. You feel me? That's what I'm hearing. It's like there's no room for you. You wasn't, you wasn't with me when I was trying when I was building this, whatever I'm doing when I was building it from, uh, from from ground zero. You feel me? You weren't here. You were nowhere to be around. You didn't care. And some of these people actually laughed at you, laughed in your face, told you you were crazy. You know, told you it was something wrong with you, made you feel like. That, that you were, quote unquote, stupid. You feel me? Like, oh, you dumb for pursuing whatever you're trying to pursue. It's whack. You know, you shouldn't even waste your time on doing that. But the minute you show some sort of profit, the minute you show some sort of success, oh, now they see the value in it now. That's, that's because, oh, you've proven yourself now. Why should you have to prove to somebody, especially if they, they're, if they supposedly care about you, if they're your friend, if they're your lover, they're your family, if they care about you, why should you have to prove your dreams to, to, to them, right? A person should stand behind somebody, you know, their dreams because that's what that person wants to pursue, right? <clears throat> but Spirit is telling you, like, this person's intentions, because we got hidden information, hidden info. Crucial information is being hidden at this time. Investigate and uncover the mystery. I feel like this crucial information that is being hidden at this time with this individual is their true intentions towards you. Because you see it has this a friend, whoever has bad intentions towards you. It's because on the bottom of the deck that you, the spotlight is on you now. You're getting whatever it is that you've been working on. You, you're getting your flowers. You're getting your recognition. You're getting, uh, people are, are telling you, oh my God, you did a good job. Oh my God, I like what you created. Um, I like this company, da, da, da. I like the product that you offer, I like your services, or I like you, you know what I'm saying? All eyes are on you, okay, and you're receiving attention. Some of this attention is wanted, you know, some of it is going to be unwanted, okay? Like, uh, i.e., this friend trying to come back into your life after you've uh, reached some level of success, and now they want to jump in, and the thing about it is, this person, now I'm getting, for some of y'all, I'm getting this energy heavily. Not only do they want to jump in, they want to come back in and take over. They want to come in and take over. <clears throat> yeah, that's because whatever you're doing, it, it, it has the potential to grow like huge. You feel me? I'm hearing for some of y'all, whatever you're doing has the potential to, to even be bigger than you uh, imagine it to be, right? The seeds you have planted bear fruit. Your hard work is paying off. You see, we have another um, uh, symbol of uh, fruit, okay? The fruits of your labor, your hard work paying off. And this is going to happen for some of y'all. It's going to be a fast burner. Like, it, it, it's like you've been... Um, You've been working at it so long, but it's going to seem like things are speeding up real, real fast. Or, or it's going to seem like to the outside that you've had overnight success. That's why spirit wants you to be ready. Okay, when this, when whatever this is coming in for you, that's why they want you to be ready. They don't want you to be caught off guard because we could sit, we could want something to plan for something for years, you know. But it's like once it's showtime, once the curtains open... That's a different type of frequency. That's a different type of energy, right? And then at that moment, you could you could you could possibly think that, oh my God, things are speeding up so fast. Even when it's taking you years to even get to that level, it could seem like things are moving fast all of a sudden. And it could be kind of intimidating, you know? But it says something will start rapidly. Brace yourself. Yeah. 
This is something. Y'all got something that you've been working on that is about to take off or that is taking off for you. Spirit wants you to be ready for it, right? And to not let the enthusiasm of uh, these changes or, or you actually uh, finally manifesting, this manifestation finally coming through, right? It's like no longer a dream. It's reality. Don't let that excitement or that, you know, uh, enthusiasm, don't let it scare you, you know what I'm saying? Or, or get you into this negative type of energy like uh, procrastination or fear, you know? Because, oh my God, it's like I've been dreaming about this for so long. Because sometimes we dream about something for so long, that's all we know. We, 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 just, we, we, we get comfortable with dreaming. We're so used to just dreaming. But then when it finally happens, it's like, damn. It's here. What do I do? Right? You know, so just be ready for it because it's like what you've been working on is, is, is popping off for you. Okay? We got blocked. Your spirit team is blocking a connection. Someone or something is put on block. That's this person. Because spirit is like, yo, no, 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 no. You can't partake in, in, in these blessings and abundance and uh, this person's hard work. No. Why should you partake in this? You didn't do no help. You ain't you ain't help. I just saw 2626. Yeah, you didn't help, you feel me? Let me see what 2626 is talking about. Where's my phone? <clears throat> yeah, it's like you ain't help. How you think you going? How you if you ain't help, how you how you trying to be the first one at the table eating? You the first one at the table trying to fix a plate and you didn't even help, yo, like that's what you're going to be up against. They're going to be up against people who had no uh, faith in you, who didn't take you seriously, who didn't want to see you succeed, who wouldn't offer you no kind of help, no kind of encouragement. And they're going to be the first ones trying to eat off of what you've uh, been, what, what you created. Like, no. No. Let me see what this 2626 is talking about. <sighs> it's telling you to take it easy. The art of balance in your life will bring forth stability and accomplishments. In other words, 2626 represents responsibility, inner strength, Modesty and gratitude. See, we're, we're more so, we're coming back to that energy of gratitude, what we started off with, right? So, that's going to be the key for you, is to stay in that state of gratitude. Uh, have a positive, and, and be responsible for this, whatever this is that's happen, happening, that's happening for you. Uh, show responsibility for it. Like, let's say if you come into money, okay? Uh, responsibly handle that money or let's say your business is about to pop off responsibly handle that position that you're afforded you know what I'm saying or let's say if you're just uh, uh, having a promotion spiritually to where you are now teaching other people or something, something like that right handle that position responsibly okay have inner strength modesty and gratitude Um, it assures you that the past wasn't meant to break us, but to mend us into our future selves. That is to say that we should never rely on our expectations, but remain patient for heavenly timing. Mm. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Mm. It says clarity, peace, and balance are this angel number's powerful attributes. Without order, it is, it is impossible to rely on the future. Transparency, on the other hand, allows us to get a clear understanding of our intelligence. Lastly, balance keeps us in check as well as setting our priorities right from the start. It asks you to employ patience. In all that you do. 
It is an urge to practice gratitude for what you have as the universe gives you more of what you want. Surprisingly, positivity is what will make the positive universal energies come directly to you. Wow. It's telling you to remain in the state of positivity and gratitude about what you've achieved, what you received so far, right? Stay in that state of gratitude and um, you'll be able to build more and be able to take advantage of this uh, this good news that's coming to you, okay? Yeah. Let's pull something from <clears throat> Magical Messages from the Fairies. Magical Messages from the Fairies. Vegetarian. We got the vegetarian card. So this card says, a new way of eating gives you more energy, greater health, clarity, and stronger manifestation abilities. So the more you improve your, your diet, right? And when I say diet, I'm talking about the things that you're eating. The more you improve your diet, the more you're able to uh, manifest, okay? The stronger your abilities is. Let me tell y'all something. And this is a true story. Um, I was getting ready for something to where I needed to lose weight. So I was, I had lost a whole bunch. I actually lost more weight than I uh, planned on losing. But And I was exercising every single day. Eating right every single day. Eating clean every single day. You know, my stomach had... You know, the inside, yo. When you, when you uh, start eating healthier and you are uh, doing portion control... Uh, the inside, you know, your stomach, it actually uh, gets full quicker, right? So uh, I actually lost a lot of weight. I was waking up in the morning, like, uh, at sunrise, doing yoga outside. You know what I'm saying? I was just on my thing, you feel me? I wish I could tap into that again, but I was running every single day, all that stuff. But pff, I don't know. I need to find that guy again, you feel me? It's like, yo, I was tapped and tuned in during that time. But when I was in that mode... I had lost all of that weight and I got, you know, very, very healthy, right? And, yo, I was manifesting things left and right. Things were just coming to me just, like, super fast, right? Talk about fast. I I was, like, off of work, right? Like, I was, you know, I would take, like, in between jobs, I would just take time off and just be like, yo, I'm about to chill for six months, seven months, and I'm not I'm just going to just, you know, do my thing. And this time I had planned on... um taking like a year off of work, but uh, <clears throat> something happened to where I needed to go back early, right? Yo, I had manifested a job in one week. When I tell you one week, it took one week for me to, uh, the whole process of me uh, sending out a resume, me getting a call, going in for the interview, uh, uh, and me getting hired, it took one week for me to do that. You feel me? So trust and believe once you take care of your body, your body, because the more you take care of your body, the more your vibration rises and the easier it is for you to manifest things. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know who needs to hear that, that message, right? We have holiday on the bottom of the deck. It says the answer you're looking for can be found during a vacation retreat or holiday getaway some of you guys may be going somewhere soon or even like if you're in the over here in the, uh, the states or whatever you could be getting ready to celebrate some sort of holidays coming up and stuff like that and you could go somewhere or uh, be visiting people or somebody visiting you but there's something that's going to come to you some sort of answer it's going to happen it's going to come to you during that the holiday season okay the holiday season can be very very important and it says, admit your true feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Only you know what it is that you truly desire. Yeah, this is all about manifesting. Like, what do you want? What's, what, what's your heart telling you to go after, right? What is your heart telling you to do? You need to be focused on you and what you want to manifest and not what the hell somebody else wants for you, right? It's about what you want, right? And not what uh, somebody else wants for you, all right? Let me... um. Look into this good things, the good things deck right here.
<clears throat> what are we looking forward to, please? What changes are we looking forward to? What positive changes with this good news coming in with this cycle? With these cycle changes, okay, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Ending. Something is finally over. A much-needed ending is taking place. A relief. Yeah, this is a positive ending, which is going to allow you to reconstruct your life. Now you have the opportunity to rebuild and recreate a brand new foundation. This is regrowth, right? This is like you're getting a second chance at something, okay? At building the life that you want, all right? We have secret information. You'll be receiving an eye opener. Hidden information will be revealed, which is going to bring you relief and clarity. So, yeah, we got this hidden information. See how that works out? Something that was once hidden from you that was crucial information is about to be revealed to you. Okay? Solutions. A remedy to long-standing issues are found. A way out. Happy ending. So, some that you've been needing assistance with, help with. You see how we got the A card on the bottom of the deck, the assistance that you, you're getting a helping hand. It's going to come to you. You're going to be able to uh, finally move forward, right? And speaking about moving forward, we got movement. The end of a standstill, a block being removed. The wait is over, okay? And then we got twin flame. A high level soulmate connection is being healed. Which is, which is allowing you to move on from, if it's a karmic person, it's going to allow you to move on from that lesson and to not have to repeat it again, all right? Or it is going to uh, heal the connection between you and another person, okay? Whatever, however that means to you, all right? Um, let me see what else we got here. Let me, you know what, let me pull some of this positive energy. Let's see what we got with this positive energy deck here. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, we have accountability. Angel number 27, 27. That's so funny. We have 26, 26. Now this is angel number 27, 27. We are definitely moving forward, y'all. Uh, you are standing firm in the part that you played in any situations that didn't work out in your favor. No one can make you feel guilty or a victim. Okay, you're moving out of that victim, uh, victimhood and not letting anybody make you in, out to be a victim, okay? Yeah, because you got victory coming for you. 4142, you will be victorious in whatever challenges you are currently facing. Don't give up. You see what I'm talking about? And then boundaries. Angel number, uh, you can look up angel number 7035 for additional um, additional uh, meanings or you know, additional uh, messages for yourself. But boundaries, talking about you understand the importance of setting strong boundaries. You are no longer self-sacrificing your well-being and feelings for others. You come first. You're making yourself the MVP, okay? And you're understanding the importance of taking care of yourself first. You feel me? And then we, we have a pause. Angel number 4418, okay? This card says, you get the free time to relax and take a time out. Use this time to clear your mind, recharge, and get a different perspective on anything confusing so you guys may be taking a break this may be uh talking about the holiday that you might be getting ready to take as well right days off that you can use to replenish yourself all right you can use to uh to get a different perspective on your on, on your situation you feel me we got good deeds angel number 3350 and this talks about you're being guided by spirit to help those in need this may be in the form of spiritual healing financial or emotional help etc pay it forward yeah this is like spirit is like yo i'm blessing you okay so i need you to pay it forward right keep those blessings flowing keep that good positive energy flowing you know within the collective you feel me don't just uh hoard it keep it to yourself you know uh spread the love you know spread the the good vibrations and whatnot you feel me i'm gonna pick up something from the guiding light oracle as well <clears throat> Let me get some of these up right here.
Oops. Oh, well, we're going to go to it. Reaching out. Number 50. Number 50, reaching out. It says it's time for you to reach out and ask for the help you need. Let me tell you something. There may be, uh, Spirit might be waiting on you to ask for some specific help that you might have been needing. And then soon, the moment you ask for it, things are going to start popping off for you with this aid energy here, right? Or you guys have already asked for something. You're getting, um, uh, you're getting the assistance that you need, right? We got heart opening number 41. This talks about someone you know. It may even be you is whole withholding love and creating a very emotionally painful experience for everyone involved. Yeah, Spirit's telling y'all to open your heart, right? Let go of the past. Take accountability. Remember we had the accountability card. Take accountability for your actions and the part that you played in any situation that you were involved in. Release any guilt, any shame, any hard feelings, you know, uh, involved in that specific situation so that you can move on, move forward, and you can have your heart, you know what I'm saying, uh, healed and ready to go, you feel me? Because that's what, uh, this is how you manifest, you feel me? Having an open heart, this is how you manifest, all right? We have 30, freedom of soul expression. You may be holding back from expressing yourself out of a fear of losing or upsetting someone around you, yeah. This could be somebody, that person who's trying to control you, okay? That could be someone who suddenly cares about what you got going on in your life, you know, and wants to take control. I want to guide your actions, guide your steps. But Spirit is like, no, you need to you need to be free to be yourself. Let other people be themselves and let them, they only can't control themselves. They cannot control you. Only person that can control you is you. You have the freedom to express yourself however you're meant to express yourself, Right? Without uh, dumbing yourself down, dimming your light, none of that stuff. Just be you. We got perfectionist number 20. It says, keep your standards high and honorable, but let go of the need to be perfect. Okay? And 32, divine plan. Your soul has a master blueprint of your life path that it holds within it. It will never steer you in the wrong direction. Trust a divine plan. Trust that you, as long as you stay connected as long as you keep that heart chakra flowing, healed, balanced, ready to go, you're going to be guided along the correct path. And just and you have to trust um, and have faith that the help that you ask for is uh, you're being guided and it's just taking you to uh, whatever assistance that you've been needing. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at a. Uh, let's do a my uh, Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle. Let's pull, pull something from here. This one just jumped out. I'm gonna put it back. But it's just telling you to have patience. Okay. What else we got here? Wow. Okay. Look, y'all, number 28, something, someone new is coming. Someone new is coming. An important new relationship is on the horizon. Open your mind and your heart so that happiness can enter your life. So this could be a, a platonic connection or it could be a romantic connection. Either way, somebody new. This is good news. This is this is somebody who you would be open. You would be open to, to uh, uh, collaborating with this person and whatever that means. You feel me? Uh, but also, um, the more you guys manifest, the more you get into that happy vibration, the more people are going to be drawn to you. So there's going to be people drawn to you who mm, might not have your best interest at heart, but there's going to be some good people that come into your life who actually care about you and who you could trust. Okay. So, uh, but you have to remember, it says number 10, don't settle for less. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up period. Don't settle for less, right? Don't settle for the, you know, for the first thing that comes along and and then run with it. Especially if that's not like if you if you could do better than that, you feel me? I just heard who could ask for anything more. Yes, yeah, like you gotta ask for it. Like I feel like what the person, the person, place, or thing that's meant for you. 
okay, that's going to benefit you for your highest good, you're not going to want more, right? But I feel like if you sell yourself short, you're going to be disappointed. You feel me? So Spade is wanting you not to even go there. Keep your standards high. Look, right here. 43, your vibration is rising. You see what I'm talking about? Like, your vibration is rising. Therefore, it's like people got to get on your level. You feel me? Like, gone are the days of you dumbing yourself down, dimming your light, or or uh, acting in a certain way, or being comfortable with things that, that is, is, I was going to say beneath you. <laughs> being comfortable with things that just don't resonate with you. It's okay to connect with people who resonate with you and to let the ones who you don't resonate with, it's okay to just let them go, you know? We have, uh, this is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. You see what I'm talking about? That's why we got that vegetarian car right here. But it could, it could, it could just be like a change of diet to where you're eating more, more healthier, you feel me? Yeah, because... It's time for you to manifest what you need to manifest in your life and enjoy your life. Yeah. It's time for you to manifest. <clears throat> I'm going to get some uh, no, something for the notebook oracle. Let's get some advice from this and see what we need to know. You know what? I think I want to get us something from um, the self-care deck first. Before we start wrapping it up. Hell, somebody might need to wrap it up. I don't know what that who that mean for who. Somebody might need to wrap it up. You feel me? Be careful. Cool. Yo, somebody let me. Oh, yeah, I get it. Someone new is coming. Yeah. You got new prospects coming. Yeah. You got new prospects coming in your life. And you're going to want to be choosy. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that they're on your same page and make sure that you're protected. Not only protected physically, but you protect your heart. You know what I'm saying? But not like in a way that you're paranoid, but like you protect your heart. You set boundaries. That's what it is. You need to set boundaries, okay? You need to have firm boundaries set into place. <clears throat> You have surrender. Stop trying to control life. It gets in the way of divine intervention. Yeah. I feel like your spirit team is trying to, it's like, yo, we ready to give you what you want, what you've been asking for. I need you to surrender to the flow. Don't try to control the situation and let, let things happen, right? You see what I'm talking about? It's it's love. You know, you know what I'm saying? It's love. Some sort of I'm getting love invitation. Somebody about to hit you up. Or somebody's going to hit you up and be like, yo, what's up? What's popping? I want to holler at you. But you see how we had that person from the past? Let the past go. You feel me? Focus on the new. Right? The words you speak are an invitation to life. A request to bring energy into form. Choose your words wisely. Yeah. I feel on top of that too. Okay? Spirit is telling you. This is a reminder that you are in manifestation mode right now. You have to be very, very careful of the words that you're speaking, all right? Over your life, over yourself. Make sure that whatever you're speaking brings life, brings abundance, bring, brings healing, right? Brings peace. But like I said, for somebody, this is somebody going to send you a message. Somebody going to send you an invitation or something like that. Yeah. Possibility. Focus your attention on what could go right. When you learn to imagine the best case scenario, you get to enjoy an experience twice. Focus on what could go right instead of what could go wrong, okay? Let's pull a sign from the um, notebook oracle. <clears throat> okay, we got them. Oh, yep. Come on now, come on! I don't want to be. I'm not. I'm not about to be sitting here reading all night. We might. We might do that. It's too late for doing all the damn reading. Yo, value. I'm pick the first one. Value. The number is forty-five. It says, "Stop putting yourself down." If you don't believe in yourself, don't expect anyone else to. You owe it to yourself to give yourself a chance at living your best, uh, your version of a good life. 
see the value in you, you also deserve the best, period. You got to start telling yourself that you deserve the best and stop settling for less, period. You deserve the best, stop settling for less. And then this one goes with it. Investments, number seven. When you invest your time and energy into something, please know that your time and energy are valuable. What price are you putting on yours? Are you selling yourself at a cheap discounted price? Or does your time and energy come at a high value? Think about it. You are the only one who can set your price point. <clears throat> it's time for action number 15. It says living in your head all the time does nothing to help bring your dreams to life. At some point, you're going to have to be willing to get out there and try. You have to incorporate some action into your dreams as well. It's time to take action on your dreams. Let's go. Comment down below if y'all ready to go. You feel me? A hey, negativity diet number 72. Mm -hmm. Detox yourself from any negative energies that may be lowering your vibes. Sometimes energy will build up and hit you from all directions to the point where your energy becomes too cluttered, too chaotic, and out of balance. Separate yourself from anyone or anything that is low vibrational. Shut off all low vibrational TV shows and music. Stay away from gossip and cultivate a safe, loving, and peaceful environment for yourself. Go on a negativity diet to raise your vibrations and open your heart. Wow, this came out again, y'all. Number 46. Even if you've been hurt in the past, you can still find an abundance of love in your future. Open your heart. It's okay to shut out the bad ones, but leave a way in for the good ones. There is still plenty of love and to experience. I just heard, why does she always get the good ones? I don't know why that phrase keeps popping into my head. Uh, I didn't watch that movie in no time recently. Why does she always get the good ones? I, I get that people are going to be looking at you like, damn, how, 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 how you became so blessed? Like, why did you get to, 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 to get that blessing? Is it because you worked hard for it? You, you feel me? Is it because you planted those seeds and you nurtured them and you didn't give up? You feel me? It's because you kept pushing through. You had perseverance and you then and you're getting the fruits of your labor. That's why you get it. That's why you're getting the good ones. You feel me? That's why. But you're gonna have people that 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 feel that you don't deserve it, you know? Like you don't deserve to receive the fruits of your labor or benefits from your hard work. You, why shouldn't you when you put in all the hard work? But you're going to have people that think that you had it easily, easy. You didn't have to work for it. It was overnight. For some of you guys, it's going to it's gonna pick up that fast or uh, so quickly that some people are going to be under the assumption that you are an overnight success and you got it easy. And they're not going to overlook the fact that, hey, maybe they put in a lot of work, right? It's like somebody who just thinks that, like, Oh, you just got it out of the blue. You ain't doing no work, you know? Yeah, look, you against the world. Number uh, 65, it says some people may be out to get you, but everyone is not out to harm, do you harm, right? So not there may be some people that's out to get you, but not everybody, you feel me? Uh, make sure you are not punishing anyone for the things others have done to you in the past. Make sure you are not judging brand new situations off of the results of old, unrelated situations, you owe it to yourself to have a brand new start with a clean slate. See new situations with innocence, okay? Yeah, it's like, um, leave the past in the past. Process that baggage before you move forward because there's going to be new people coming into your life. And, and those people don't deserve to be punished for something that someone else has done to you or may have done to you, okay? Um, <clears throat> we had these cards in the and the other reading that I did, but it's so funny that they're coming out here again. It's saying splurge, number 43. It says, uh, it's okay to splurge on yourself every now and then. Don't feel the shame of spending some of your hard-earned money on yourself. You deserve it. Wow. I had this problem with myself, you know? I, I always, I would like make purchases. Sometimes I would go overboard, but I would make purchases and I would feel guilty afterwards. Like, yo, wow. Why did I buy those shoes? Why did I buy that? -ra? Why did I buy that? -ra? And it's like, yo, t <laughs> I just heard she works hard for her money, for the money, so hard for it, honey. Like, like you work hard, you work hard to, to be here, right? You work hard for your money, you work hard for your dreams to come true. You put in a lot of work, so therefore, you need to reward yourself too. Treat yourself to a nice dinner. 
go get a massage, you know, go buy yourself an outfit, you feel me? Go do something good for yourself, right? You should be enjoying your life too and not, it shouldn't always, always be about business, 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 you know, and, and freaking boredom, no. Uh, spirit is telling you to also enjoy your life too. Take some of that hard-earned money, you know, time, energy, whatever it is, and spend it on yourself, you know? Yeah, it says walk away. Number uh, 38. Don't be afraid to walk away from things that either don't work or are no longer working uh, or have ended. Nothing is meant to last forever. When the movie credits are rolling, it's time to leave the theater. Start another movie. Walk away from things that don't serve your highest good, especially if they've ended already, right? <clears throat> this is it's giving me these people from the past or somebody coming up from the past who's trying to all of a sudden, like, y'all already, you, you already let this person go, but they're all of a sudden trying to come back into your life because they see that you're being successful or some, something good is, is happening for you, right? And they want to take it over or they want to benefit off your uh, success in some sort of way, right? We got what resonates. Number 36. Just because a person likes you doesn't mean you have to entertain them. If you do not feel a connection, don't be afraid to draw the, uh, the line or disengage. Don't lead yourself or them on. Go for what resonates. It is the only thing that makes sense. Yeah, it's like you don't have to be the martyr. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be the martyr and sacrifice yourself just because you wanna. You don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. If you're not feeling them, hey, it is what it is. You know, save yourself a heartache, a world of trouble. You feel me? If you're not feeling somebody, you're not feeling them. And there's nothing you can do that's going to change that, right? So just go with what resonates with you. And this is even with anything that you do in your life, go with what resonates with you, right? And don't sell yourself short, all right? So that's what I got for y'all for this reading. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And if this resonated for you, please comment in the comment section down below. Let me know how you feel about it, okay? Uh, much love and light to everybody out there. Obrigado. Ciao.